Hello there. This is your man in Moscow, Carlton Kaduli. This year, an estimated 23,000 Americans will visit the Soviet Union as tourists. We're interested in finding how many Russians are planning to visit our shores. May we speak with you, sir? You, if you're so able to, you can do it. Uh, what is your name, if may I ask? Yuri Rozanov. Yuri Rozanov. Yes. May I call you Yuri? You could call me by my uh, nickname. What's that? You. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you, you. Are you planning in the near future to visit our great country? Indubitably not. You don't plan to visit? Not then your tin type. Are you interested in seeing America? Not for a minute. Then we'll explain it to you. I have been there. You have visited yes. our fine country. When, sir? I was there a uh, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday a week. You mean a week ago Sunday a you were in America? Sunday I was there. Well, tell me, sir, how did you get there? I got there, you guess. Well, you were in a tour, an excursion? No, no I wasn't. By plane? No. By boat? Submarine. That's and hard to believe, sir. That's hard to believe. It's an amazing story to behold, but we could demonstrate it to you. Could you? Well, how could you demonstrate this? We have photographs. You have moving. Moving photographs? Moving pictures. Where will we see these? You right here. You took these pictures? Indeed I did. In color and Panavision? Naturally, we invented it. You see, that is how we got to America. The Russians have landed. This whole dang island's under attack by Russians. Big boats. Yes. Yeah, motor boats. power boats. All different kinds of boats, yes. Yes, sir, they're Russians. Uh-huh. A nice little boy there, sir. The Russians have captured the airport. Yeah. Listen, you guys, we've just got to get organized. For God's sake, we've got to get organized. Just don't panic. We've got to have ourselves a leader. It's all over. It's, it's all over. We haven't got a chance. Not a chance. As you can imagine, we were not expected. Don't fire until you see the light! Get out of the way! It's Agnes Brill! Those crazy Americans. All we wanted was both to pull our submarine off the reef and go home. There's the Reverend Hawthorne, and I'm still in my night thing. You help us get boat quickly, otherwise there is World War III, and everybody is blaming you! The Americans were not friendly, I take it. <laughs> I would say, uh, not friendly. I don't want you going outside at all. I don't want you near the windows. Do you understand? Better yet, all of you stay in the cellar. Do you understand? Don't, don't fall over! Don't, don't fall over! You kiss at me. You big, incompetent flatfoot! That's it! That's it! For God's sake, why is it we can't learn to live together? You're right, Norman. <laughs> Sir, those were just... Beautiful. I am, I am fascinated. I would like to see the whole movie. Well, by all means. Where can we see the rest of them? At my apartment. Or at this theater under the title, The Russians Are Coming, The Russians Are Coming. Or at my apartment. Or at his apartment. One of the best in a long time, says Life magazine. The funniest American comedy to come along, says the Saturday Review. Four stars. You will almost die laughing, but you will live to tell others to see this wild and wonderful comedy. Excruciatingly funny. New York Daily News. A hilarious troupe telling a hilarious tale in a hilarious way. Go, enjoy. New York Times. Hey, oh, yeah. Alan Arkin deserves an Oscar, says Time Magazine. Hey, oh, yeah. Wildly shaken by laughter, we feel it our bounden duty to warn our readers that they may never be quite the same again, says an editorial in the Washington Daily News. Hey, oh.